Hey there fashionistas, welcome to a new installation of 5 to 15 minutes of fashion with your resident logo ho, yours truly, Nina Johnson. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can stay in the know about all the things occurring on this show. Trust me, I know I'm gonna be biased because I like myself, but it's amazing and you're gonna love it here. And if this isn't your first time here, congrats to you on making bad life choices and welcome back. Thank you for joining me so we can talk about all these unnecessary yet fabulous things that we can spend our hard earned money on. So today it's not so much of like, what can we spend our money on as far as like brands and new items to buy, but I'm kind of dressed in my, my stylist. Like if I was going to have a consultation with a client and I wanted to hide my crazy and look super posh and professional, I would wear something like this. So today I'm giving you some of my styling tips at the bargain price of free thousand dollars. You're welcome. So I'm going to jump right in and hopefully this can be a shorter episode. So one of the first things I do with my clients is can't build a house on a sloppy foundation. So no matter how big or small you are, you need great shapewear. So bras and um, and body shapers. Good bras, good body shapers. Not really caring about what underwear you wear. I mean, just keep it appropriate if it's tight. You don't want to have a visible, visible panty line. I mean, that's tacky, like 2.0, who needs that? The thing about that is though, after I had my baby, like I just really started to appreciate like a full coverage brief. Like I was just over being flossed after all that. So today I had to put on the appropriate underwear, even though I'm sitting, I just couldn't do it. I uh, didn't want to wear like just a full coverage, but I'm all about a full coverage brief. But when you're wearing clothes that are tight, tightly fitting to the body, you want to make sure you have a visible panty line. Just kind of, that's a little nugget off top, but you're welcome. So first up, um, my favorite, some of my favorite shapewear. So, I say it Chantelle. Is it Chantelle? It looks like Chantelle to me. Um, I buy it mostly at Dillard's. I feel like the price is great. So this is one of my first pieces. They have like a softer body shaper. And I wear these because I just feel like it smooths you out. And if you get them the color of your skin when you wear brightly colored clothes that reflect light, that appear more transparent, this is going to make all of your clothes look more expensive. It's gonna, it's gonna kind of cancel out that see-through effect on your clothes. So shapewear is fantastic. And I love this piece, it's a softer piece, not super, super, super sucking you in. So I do love this particular kind of full brief pair. And because I found that the brief comes so low on your under your bottom that you don't end up with a horrible like crease and panty line, but they do have some that are skipping on that are going to be the sh uh, a full like short and it's going to be a mid-rise and these are like super control like you will put this on and you will for sure go down a dress size and it's not that breathable but it's not incredibly uncomfortable I think this brand goes up to down as small as an extra small and up to a three or two x large and I swear by this brand, like every client I've ever styled, no matter the size, I recommend the shapewear because I think they're fantastic. So, and these are two of my favorite pieces for them. So then next up here, um, the Skim Solution Short. So I'm not like a Kardashian groupie. Like if they do something, I'm not a Kardashian hater either. I mean, to each its own, but I'm not just gonna like jump on the bandwagon because it's the it thing to do. Sorry, my daughter's sleeping. She's making noise. So I'm looking at her baby monitor to make sure nothing goes awry. You gotta multitask people. She's supposed to be taking a nap. And so I gotta get stuff done today. So again, not a Kardashian lover, like just on their jock about everything. I'm also not a hater of them, but I did find these solution shorts. And if you're getting ready to, I love like a one legged number and you still wanna have a good shaper on, they have a solution short here. And they have a solution short one that has like, I think your right leg cut out and a solution short two that has your left leg cut out. You I mean, or vice versa, you get the point. But I love the solution short here. I also love that, let me check, peep this. It like comes in tons of different colors. I mean, I think that's great. Let's check out all the colors for grins and giggles. But just tons of different colors so that if you wear them, you're not getting like some weird see-through effect. So you can wear a sexy dress, have one leg out, and still be um, super sucked in. And then I am actually wearing the solution short here pulled up very high under this little Alex Perry number. 
So I love a solution short. Super cute. Um, super cute under your clothes. I, I just, I'm addicted to saying super cute, but you get my point. So the next up, my favorite um, bra brand or brand for bras is Wacol. They are good for if you are, you know, I am an ex member of the itty bitty titty committee. I might've even been like the president and CEO and founder of the itty bitty titty committee. But sometimes, you know, my father loved me and you just gotta shake what your daddy bought you. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I am no longer a member of the itty bitty titty committee. And as karma would have it, after I had my daughter, my ample bosom went up two sizes. So now I am just, I mean, it's a little obscene. So I definitely got to wear the right undergarment. So I love Wacol. They have large, they go all the way up to an H. And a lot of the back size goes all the way down. Um, I am actually a 30E, I know that's TMI, but um, I was trying to do the 32 double Ds and my back is really, really narrow. And that's because God didn't intend for these kahunas to be on me. Like he gave me the appropriate boobies for my back size. But you know, as luck would have it, I wanted bigger or luck, I don't know. Um, so anywho, Back to Wacol, great brands for the small boobs and for the large boobs. I love Wacol. I love their t-shirt bras. Let's see. So here's here's a, a, a bra on a, a woman with a larger bust. It's not like super granny. It's still a little sexy. Here's one that I really like. Like I love this. You could do it with a lower cut shirt, have cleavage, but not be spilling out of the top. And it's nice and supportive. The straps don't dig into your arms. I love this. And they have bras from the smallest end of the spectrum to the largest end of the spectrum and they're very 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 beautiful bras and they're not crazy i mean it's not like la perla prices it's also not you know i mean i feel like it's i don't buy bras from victoria's secret because um they don't carry a 30 back size but i feel like it's comparable i mean this bra here is 55 dollars. is that not comparable to victoria's secret someone let me know but i don't think it's astronomical prices and they're great bras and they wear really well and if you are looking to get fitted for walk hole bras and you are in um charlotte north carolina the lingerie department and nordstrom the ladies there are so knowledgeable and i am going to try and find the lady's name she is a woman of color and i cannot remember her name and i'm going to try to find it for you because if you're looking for a good walk hole bra in charlotte she will fit you and she's she fit me for my bra. She helped me discover that I was not a double D, that I was in fact an E. Um, so actually she told me I was a triple D, not a double D. And then after I had my daughter, you know, karma, I went up to an E, which is fantastic. Now I have porn star boobs, which is not at all what I went in for. But um, <laughs> this is so random. I'm so sorry. But if you've been here, you know this is how things go. So I uh, love walk hole bras. They're great. So that's it with like having a good foundation. You don't want to put your clothes on top of like sloppy stuff happening um, underneath. Then the next thing I would say is, I've said this before and I can't reiterate it enough. A two is not a two is not a two is not a two as a 14 is not a 14. A 10 is not a 10 for everybody. If you're a size six, all size sixes aren't built the same. And I mean, I guess, unfortunately, when uh, manufacturers are manufacturing clothes, they're, they have a pattern for a six and that pattern for six is across the board with no variants that would be in your in a natural body type for sixes across the board so i highly recommend finding a good tailor if you were in charlotte again and as alterations they have a location off of pineville matthews and they have a location off of park road closer to uptown um i have a couple people that i love there if you're in the uptown location ask for eva tell her nina sent you if you are in looking for the pineville matthews location young is fantastic they're all fantastic but i work a lot and send my clients a lot to young and they are just their work is impeccable and i send like my best stuff like my tom ford my carolina herrera like my best stuff goes there so and i i get everything altered again because like I said, a two is not a two is not a two is not a two across the board. So um, I even take my Zara things there. So here is a beautiful young lady on Good Morning America. She's doing a style session and she's in this fun Zara suit. Now she looks super cute, but the proportions are all wrong. Like she, I don't think her hem is quite right. 
um, the jacket is a little long and if she was gonna leave the length of the jacket, then she needed a taller heel and um, she needed to leave the pants a little bit longer. I mean, this is the proportions and I think that she's trying to do it more hip and funky and fresh, but still the proportions are all wrong. So here's your girl and I'm not trying to like be petty, but I just wanted to show you, I happen to have this comparison. Um, and she was on TV and I felt like she's a celebrity, so she's like kind of fair game and I don't want to like go on someone's Instagram and be that petty. Um, but she does look beautiful in it, but I just wanted to show you the difference. So we'll leave from her here. And this is me in that same suit. So I recognize that the jacket was rather long. And so what I did was I got a super obnoxious high, 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 high heel platform so that I could give myself some more height. And when I meet people in person who follow me on Instagram, they are so surprised that I am like five foot nothing. Well, I'm five two, but I am not a very tall person. And they look at my pictures and I appear to be taller because I use my tricks and some of the tricks I'm going to share with you. So keep watching. Um, so those tricks are coming up, but I have on incredibly tall shoes. I did get the jacket hemmed. If, let me snap back to here. Actually, let me do this. Let me put up a side by side. So if you see here, her jacket looks really long in comparison to her shoes. And even the hem she got isn't the best hem ever. Um, and I feel like she cut a lot off that pant because you were losing some of the bell shape. And because you were losing some of the bell shape, her pointed toe shoes are sticking out of the front and causing a break in the pant, which is fine. Um, a lot of men, they, they want like a subtle break in their pants. So that's fine if that's the look you're going for, but I just feel like it makes you look less polished. And so there are things you can do, take your clothes to get them altered, to get them to fit you properly. Here too, I had to get the sleeves on this jacket cut off. Um, and as you see here, she's pushing the sleeves up. And I don't know if that's because she like she's leaning towards a trim to make the suit look a little bit more fresh and hip, but I just felt like she could have achieved that same look and also had the sleeves cut off. And she, still, she could have still scrunched them and achieved that same look and feel. Just my personal opinion. She's a beautiful girl and she does still look pretty, but I was just using this as a comparison to show you how much more polished things could look and how much more expensive things can look if you get them altered. I mean, I think I spent maybe 40 bucks on alterations and this was from Zara, so the suit was probably both pieces in between 200 and in between 150 to 200 dollars for this item. I spent an extra 40 bucks and it ended up elevating the whole look and making it look much more expensive. <clears throat> also, I'm gonna remember before I sit down to get water so I won't cough through every single video. What's wrong with me? I'm so sorry, you guys. So my secret to looking tall with wide leg pants, because I just feel like when you're short and you get the wide leg pants cut off, it changes the shape of the pant. Like you need, there's a gradual like extending of the pant down. And when you cut it off, you end up with less of a wide leg and more of a straight leg pant, which is cool. That's the look that you want. But I feel like when you're going with a double breasted blazer with a big shoulder, you want to keep the width on the bottom to keep it balanced. I mean, dressing properly is all about proportions, like acknowledging like if you have something bigger up top, you want something bigger up bottom and so bigger on the bottom. So it brings in your waist and creates more of an hourglass silhouette. So you have to think about those things. So one of the things that I have the Louboutin, um, I'm going to get them. Should I get up and get them? I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm never prepared, but I was just going to show you pictures, but I realized that I hadn't pulled any pictures of the Louboutins. I probably could have Googled it, but here we are. I got them in my hand. So these are my secret for looking tall. Now, this pair, there was a phase in my life when I wore these, like, so you could see them. Um, and then I realized that doesn't really look good on me. Like, my legs are much too skinny for these, but also I haven't sent these off to get the red soles on the bottom. I just stopped doing that at some point. I don't know what my problem is, but, um, but I think I'll send these off and get them done. Why be that human? So I wear these under all my wide leg pants. These add about six and a half inches to my height. And I still, ironically, I still have to get pants hemmed, but where if I wore a regular heel, I would be looking to get four to five inches cut off. With these, I'm just cutting off two. And um, it gives me just, just enough height to keep the silhouette of the pant. And I love these. And I have, I have another tall pair too. Um, 
These I would never let anyone see. Like I, at, at this point, I mean, I look back, I've worn them back with other dresses and I thought I was so fly. I mean, for me personally, I don't have the legs for these. So these are always hidden. I sometimes wear these with dresses, like with a little slit, give them a little action. So these are less chunky and they don't make my legs look as skinny, but I wear both of these under my wide leg pants. And so if you're not in the market to spend $1,300 on a pair of Louboutins and you still want to get the height. Lucky for you, I have my clients um, and they always look at me like I'm insane. I'm like, these are the shoes you're going to buy and wear under all of your wide leg pants and it drives all of them crazy because like, are you getting me with this heel? But it's worth it. Specifically, if you're going to be photographing yourself for anything, if you're doing any branding photo shoots and you want to, as a woman, wear a power suit and look powerful, get a wide leg pant, put these on under them and you can thank me later, doll. So here they are on Amazon. This pair is, dear sweet baby Jesus, I can't even see, um, $56 and they're suede. I prefer a hidden platform too in these shoes. So just in case they peek out, like it's not an immediate moment of, is she wearing like a stripper shoe under there? So I prefer a hidden platform, me personally. So they have them in suede and I love um, a suede shoe. I feel like the black is, is just richer. But here they are in a leather. And I would recommend, um, some of these don't have half sizes and if you're kind of in between a size, go up a size so you can put a little pad in the bottom and just give you, they're not terrible given the platform. I know they look like they are painfully like uncomfortable. They're really not that bad short term. I mean, if you're going to be doing a lot of walking, just consider it given the platform. It's like any other four inch heel. Once you kind of, everything comes out in the wash considering the platform, but I mean, they are not like a super comfortable shoe, just a heads up. And then if you're worried about staying in it because it is so high, there's this Mary Jane version, but I would like never ever want anybody to see that unless you were doing like LARPing or like some cosplay and it was like part of your costume. So you would want to make sure that you would only wear this shoe with your long wide leg pants. That's all I'm saying about that. And then if I'm not a super fan of of an exposed platform, but these are really pretty. They remind me of the Pagal, the Christian Louboutin Pagal with the platform. So if you're looking for the height and you're already a kind of medium tall to tall girl and you just need a little bit of a bump, I like these as well. And so these are not as tall, but they're giving you a little bit more height without the heel coming up a lot higher because of the platform. So it's giving you a little more rise without a lot substantially more pain, if that makes sense. So those shoes are my secret and I force all of my clients to buy them, which they do not appreciate. And I know you're out there and I know you're nodding, saying I don't appreciate it and I don't care, you look cute. So um, next thing, so I know that I have to fight with clients about this and people even take the liberty to debate with me on my social media about my opinions on this. If you disagree, please feel free to do so on your personal platform of choice, like your page, like your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter, or whatever social media, social media you choose. But this is just my opinions, okay? As a stylist, so on what I think looks nice. So one of the things I think you should consider when you are wearing dresses is the dress length. Um, I feel like pretty consistently when you're looking at just kind of what I what I kind of feel like is just kind of factory fashion, like producing a hundred of them and a bunch of different brands and pushing them out that it just doesn't look special or polished. I feel like when you're dress shopping specifically for like straight kind of sheath dresses, or if you purchase something and you're getting ready to take it to get it to get tailored if you were a shorter girl. And sorry, I do a lot of things geared to shorter girls, and it's not just because I'm short, it's because if you're tall and beautiful, I don't care about you wear whatever you want. I know you have problems finding things that are long enough, but who cares? You're tall and beautiful and I don't care. Bump your toe in the middle of the night. How about that? Us shorties have got to fight for everything we get. So if you're tall and gorgeous, go scratch. No, I'm kidding. I will do another video though about like finding things the appropriate length for you. But for this particular thing, let me put up the dress. So I feel like sheath dresses that are hemmed above the knee look inexpensive. They also, contrary to what people believe, 
I feel like when you see your knee and you see your ankle, you can tell exactly how, it lo how long your leg is. And so to elongate the leg, and even if you're tall, I think like elongating your legs, gorgeous, go for it. Like do that, sis. So um, don't get your dresses hemmed above the knee if it is a straighter fitting dress. It makes it look inexpensive. I mean, here we are from Belk. This one is $44 and it's a beautiful dress, but I bet you if that dress was below the knee, it would elevate it and it would look more expensive. Here we are here with a blue number. Um, it's Calvin Klein and it was $60, which is a lot for a dress, but I feel like when you have a dress he hemmed here, it feels dated. It feels like just factory output fashion. It doesn't feel special. Um, it doesn't like look expensive even when they are I just feel like it takes the whole value of the dress down when it's even when you're short when it's hemmed above the knee all you need to do to fix that is though purchase or or get dresses altered oh here's one too and even from this is from White House black market and I know that they tend to have more expensive things but again when they go on sale I mean you could get a dress from there for $40 and I mean, I just don't like the look of it. And even from the back, like the slit, I feel like when you have a slit and the dress is above the knee, I mean, it gets dangerously like close to your cash and prizes and it's just not my thing. So um, here we are. I love Black Halo. This is the Black Halo Jackie O dress. It is an investment piece. If you purchase this, this dress kind of goes up like a handbag. Um, it goes up in price every year, which I think is fantastic because that means it holds its value and it's a quality piece to add to your collection. I love this black halo dress. Um, I have it. Here I am with me and my best friend, Meghan Markle, in the black halo dress. I love it. It, um, on me, it ends up being like midi length because I'm so short, but um, I go ahead and have it hemmed to right below the knee, so I look appropriate here. Um, like this girl here, girlfriend's got body and legs and I'm here for all of that, you're so cute. But just getting things hemmed below the knee makes everything look more expensive. And I'm gonna show you some really expensive designers that you can, um, I'll show you at the end on me too. I don't know why the only picture I have is of me knocked up in this dress, but um, I just wanted to show you that you can create this look for much less than uh, what it is here. So this is Black Halo, around the $400. This is um, this is a Victoria Beckham dress, and Victoria Beckham is 5'4". That is not much taller than me, and she wears all of her designs. This is a Victoria Beckham dress, by the way, and it is below the knee. Um, it's all, it's midi length on me, so um, you can, if you are short, don't feel like I'm short and I have to get my dresses hemmed really high. It, it, it's the it, it's a dead giveaway for how long your leg is. If I can see your knee and see your ankle, I know exactly how long your leg is. So you want that knee to just subtly disappear and you just want to see leg into shoe um, so and avoid ankle straps on your shoe so it just elongates the leg and gives you the look of being nice and tall so here is I love this girl but this girl's tall she's got a blue shoe but she can do that because her body is gorgeous and there's that girl everything about you is fierce why they cut your face off though Nordstrom I need to see her so here we are um, another Victoria Beckham dress Victoria Beckham could range anywhere between 1500 to I've seen them upwards of $5,000 and so these dresses they look really expensive part of that is the quality of the construction I mean I don't know that the fabric is anything special either it's like viscose and wool they have some wool silk blends and they're more expensive ones but I think what makes it I'm telling you what makes it look look expensive is getting it altered to fit you properly and the length so let me just jump down to let's click through some people again below the knee um, here's my friend, my best friend again, and this is Roland Marais, a lot like Victoria Beckham, lots of structured sheep dresses with a long zip down the back and everything is below the knee. And here I am all knocked up. Now this dress looks a lot like a Victoria Beckham dress, but I got it from Amazon and I paid $30 and because it is below the knee and I'm doing it with a pump, I feel very posh, you know, and so you can do this trend for less money, but I was wanting to just kind of explain that if you find the trend and you get it hemmed properly, it will look expensive. So that's just the trick there. Sorry, I feel like I fell down a rabbit hole. Also, <laughs> um, I have this picture, it was on my Instagram. This is a Roland Marais dress and 
three of us got it right and one of us got it wrong. And don't come for me, Beehive. Uh, but Beyonce has hers hemmed over the knee. I know they have these pictures cropped super tight to get four in one frame. Um, that's uh, J-Lo, me, and then Nina Garcia, who was like the editor of like Elle Fashion at some, at some point. I don't know. But uh, Beyonce is wearing it above the knee. And I... This is a very, very, very old picture of her, and this just might have been something a stylist did thinking they were doing the right thing because she's not an incredibly tall woman, but you get this hemmed below the knee, and it just makes you look long and just sleek and expensive. It just really brings down. It makes it look like it makes it, make, it makes it look like it's a dress from. I don't have any problems with this because when I worked, this is what I would do. I would go to TJ Maxx and like scoop up all the Calvin Klein dresses when I had to dress business professional, and then I would wear those to work, which is fine. But I just feel like that was the early 2000s, and we're not doing that anymore. So. Try to get your dress hemmed below the knee. And then here we have some of the real life examples. This is Renee Zellweger. I googled her height. She's 5'3". She looks incredibly tall here. She has a pointed toe heel, which makes you look tall. And um, she has the dress hemmed below the knee. So it's everything. Now, if you are a girl and you're like, I'm not doing it, I'm not going to do it, what I would encourage you to do is to, if you're going to get it hemmed above the knee, um, go ahead and try to go for a mini length. Not like hoochie, like micro mini, but just go for mini length and get it like specifically, like it is intentionally above the knee. And when you do that, to keep your proportions proper, I would say look for skater skirt or, flip, or fit and flare skirt like here. So this is a Victoria Beckham dress as well, and it's just gonna give you the right proportions. I personally don't feel like um, dresses that are mini and straight, I feel like it kind of reads Lady of the Night. I don't know, I'm a prude. So, but if you got the body and you can rock it, I say rock it. I don't, I can't do it, I'm a prude. So, but I do like the look of this. And then here's another little shorty, and she's not a tall girl. And she, she's got legs for days because it is high above the knee. And she's got on a pointed toe pump and it's everything. And here's my girl, Victoria Beckham, little shorty. And I mean, I probably want this dress to be a little bit higher and she's moving and her body direction is down. So maybe it's appearing because everything she touches is perfection. It's appearing a little bit longer, but if you're gonna do, I've gotta do above the knee. I'm, it makes me feel self-conscious. I just feel frumpy or short. Then I would suggest fit and flare. So I love that. Next up, you guys, if you, uh oh, am I forgetting? Oh, I am forgetting something. Okay, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is a nude shoe for elongating the leg. Um, and my favorite, so Louboutin has one. There's another brand that I am going to just put in a little ticker maybe below because I cannot remember the name. Um, but my favorite shoe right now uh, for suede is this guy up here, the little Jimmy Choo. Can you see those? I don't know, you can't see them. Nope, they're above. So here are, I love these Jimmy Choo. I like suede colored um, flesh tone shoes. I feel like with the patent, it's too shiny. And even with some leathers, it's too shiny. And I just feel like with the suede, it's just bleeding into your skin. Like the shoe's not even there. So this Jimmy Choo has a like medium brown one. And then they have a dark brown one. And they have this blush one. So those are my favorite nude shoes. And if you're doing that with a dress right below the knee, gonna make you look long and lean and beautiful. Just trust me. I know people, I know things. Then the last thing I wanted to cover here is if you do not own a wrap dress, invest in one. The wrap dress was invented by Di Diane Von Fostenberg and she is, I mean, gosh, she's so gorgeous and she's aging so gracefully, um, but she invented the wrap dress. And what I love about a wrap dress is fits every body type. Now you may need to get it altered appropriately. Um, it is a little flowy, so if you wanted to, you could go all the way right below the knee or midi length, and if not, then again on this one, I still want you to like commit, come up high enough and make it a standard mini length. But they look good on everybody. Here we are on a couple different body types. So we have someone who's a two, someone who's a six, and someone who maybe about a, like a 10, 12 um, range, but the wrap dress looks good on everyone. And then even if you are classically plus 
or more apple shape, you can do a wrap dress too. I love a wrap dress on someone. If you are concerned about your midsection, great things to do to draw the attention upwards would be to do v-necks and a wrap dress gives you that and you can open up your wrap dress and give a little more collarbone and shoulder and it just opens up that area and reduces the eye being drawn to the waist so i love that and a little like tying your wrap dress high like more umpire waist on a wrap dress if you are a girl who's more apple shaped that's really a really good thing to do there and then again it looks good on your skinny minis so a wrap dress Looks good everybody. What else I love about a wrap dress too is I have a black wrap dress that I take on vacation specifically so I won't get in trouble for over shopping. For over, for over shopping. I'm over shopping. For over packing. I like to do my wrap dress with, you know, just a classic little bag and dress it down with my Gucci like thong sandals. And then at night I could wear it with a pump and do it with a clutch and put on some big jewelry and with a wrap dress you just dressed it up and dressed it down like effortlessly and so i could put a denim jacket on over it and flip flops and wear it out you know to brunch or something and then you, it's just really versatile so if you don't own a wrap dress definitely invest in one it will be a good piece and then my girl michelle obama does a wrap dress effortlessly so here she is in a white one here she is in a black one just classic and then here she is this was a couple years ago she had on those, was it Balenciaga, the Balenciaga, like hologram, um, like silver boots, like the iridescent silver boots. It was, a, it was a moment, it was a look, and she did that. I don't know who her stylist is, but you put your whole foot in that look. I loved it, and here she is kind of in a, a gold wrap dress here. So she looks gorgeous, and I mean, she can do no wrong, so she's probably not a good example for comparison because she always looks beautiful. She could look beautiful in a potato sack. So maybe that isn't the greatest example, but she looks gorgeous, and so if you don't have a wrap dress, definitely invest in one today. You guys, that is it for my five to 15 minutes of fashion today. Thank you so much for joining me in between time, or in the meantime, in the between time, hug each other, love each other, and I will see you guys soon for a new installation of five to 15 minutes of fashion. Stay fabulous, dolls.